we're going to get a look at the numbers for new market today. Uh, we're going to review the most current month. February 2021 is what we have in the Toronto Real Estate Board stats. We are going to compare that with a year ago, February 2020. And to give you a little bit of contrast, I'm also going to review what happened um, last month, January 2021 in new market. Um, so a year ago in new market, 139 total units sold. That is across all home types. So condos, semis, towns, links, detached, everything. Uh, 92 a month ago in January 2021. And um, we're looking at 117 sold through the month of February. So we are starting to see uh, inventory levels rise, which is typical for the time of year as we come into spring. Um, buyer demand, if you've uh, watched some of my other videos, um, buyer demand is still quite high. And I think it's going to take a little bit of time, probably another four or six weeks to, uh, to satisfy that demand. A year ago in new market, average sale price across all home types was 832,000. We were a million and 11,000 in January 2021. Currently trending in new market across all home types at a million 98,000 is your average sale price. Sales to new listings ratio. Uh, if you've watched my other videos, um, I believe that this is a great gauge of the market. It's one of my favorite stats. Um, it tells us uh, out of the homes coming on the market each month, what is the percentage that are actually selling? So it could be uh, also you know, known as the absorption rate. So 65.3 a year ago in new market, and that would be uh, indicative of really entering into that seller's market. 80% uh, of the homes coming on the market in January 21 selling. Uh, so that is definitely uh, would be considered a seller's market. And currently 61.3 five percent is where new market is trending so that is really telling us at this point that we are starting to see inventory levels rise um, I wouldn't say that the buyer demand has petered off a bit um, you know we can also see down here that inventory levels are rising um, but there is there is a bit of a change I would say happening there um, months of inventory tells us that um, if no other homes came on the market after today at the current rate of uh, homes are being sold, um, how long would it take to deplete the current inventory level? So a year ago, it was a month. Uh, January was 0.6. And we're currently trending at uh, 0.8 months of inventory. So again, we are seeing a little bit of a, a little bit of a lift in the inventory right now. Um, Sale price to list price ratio. So currently, or sorry, a year ago, trending at 101%, uh, 106 in January, currently trending at 110%. Now, um, I do have some folks that, that question me on that and go, man, those are big, like over asking numbers. And I, I think the thing you have to consider is, you know, after the um, the gold rush in the spring market of, of uh 2017, um, we saw the market decline, continued to decline through um, 2018, flattened out in 19, you know, it began to climb in 20. But really, what we're seeing is we're just seeing we're kind of getting back to those, you know, early 2017 numbers. I mean, the market did decline a, a good chunk. So, um, you know, the, the two things I would like to offer you there is, you know, we are seeing homes still that are listed significantly under asking. You know, I've seen numerous, you know, homes listed at 999 recently that have sold at 1.4, 1.5. So when they're selling at 150% of asking price, of course, that helps lift that number. Um, and the other part of it is, is again, um, it's not, the seller or the realtor that decides the price it's the market and rather the buyer that decides the price so if a home is overpriced or a buyer didn't want to pay it believe me they wouldn't the market is self-correcting in that sort of respect um, days on market to get a home sold 17 a year ago uh, 11 in January, currently six days. So um, new market still a very, very busy, fast moving market. So for sellers right now, um, you know, I would say we probably have another four to six weeks left of this market to satisfy the buyer demand. Um, I, I mean, of course, uh, the uh, the Bank of Canada rate hold um, won't really factor into this video because we're dealing with February numbers. Um, we'll see those sort of pan out in the March numbers. Um, so, you know, I still think you got a little bit of time left sellers. Um, now for buyers out there, you know, we are seeing, I would say a little bit of buyer fatigue. Uh, we are seeing offer presentation dates uh, that are being held. We're seeing those fail. We're seeing that, you know, um, sellers aren't successful in A, getting any offers, or sometimes they're just not seeing the, the numbers they want. Um, whereas, you know, sometimes you're going back in the next day after that offer presentation and you're successful in getting uh, an offer put together when there's, when there's no competition. Um, the other thing that we're seeing from offers right now is we're seeing offers starting to come back in uh, 
that are conditional on home inspection financing. So again, we are seeing that change in the market currently. So I hope you found this helpful. If you're thinking about making a change in 21, um, I would encourage you to reach out to me. I'd love to have a discovery call, learn about um, what you're looking to do.